Good morning guys, this is Vandolf, and let's continue from where we left off. Today, go to your library system.java and just scroll down to this method over here. We made a little mistake. We need to swap this with this. So let's do that real quick. Put this up top here. There's just one small thing. Uh, I wasn't displaying the proper message before when I ran the application, so that's that's why. <clears throat> and we also need to go up here to this method right here and just delete this because these two, we, we're not really using them. We didn't really get to use them, so it's pointless to keep it. All right. If we're in our application, you can see that there's nothing here yet, even if we add a book to the library. Even if we save it. There's still nothing here. What we're going to do is we're going to populate these tables before our application shows up. And we're also going to prompt the user to enter the library name if he has anything saved that he wants to load up. So let's just do that real quick. Alright, so what we're gonna do is write pseudocode first because that makes everything a lot easier when you know exactly what you have to do step by step. Alright, so you want to prompt the user to enter file name open that's number one number two once he presses and he or she presses enter you want them you want our application to load the files data inside the given file name if the file exists Otherwise, we're just gonna. Otherwise, just start the application. Alright, so this is number one. This is number two. This is two A. This is two B. Otherwise, let's start the application. Um, number three. <clears throat> Clear the data, if any, inside the two tables. Again, the data that I'm talking about here is what's actually inside here. And if there's any data inside there we need to clear them up first for example if we left something in here when we initialize the data of our tables it's going to show up in our application and we want to clear that first just to make sure that everything is because right now this empty em, this is an empty string it counts in the in the table so we want to clear that because that is one element in the table, so we want to clear that. <clears throat> so clear the data, if any, inside the two tables. Number four. A file. If, if two point. Uh, If 2.a, we're going to uh, load the uh, data inside, load up the book table, meaning uh, 
if the file that the user chose does actually exist, we're going to load, load up all the tables, I mean all the data inside this one table over here. We're not going to we're not going to load the uh this yet. We're going to load this when the user clicks on open here and it's going to show all the uh files inside the open book. And we can make it so that once the user clicks on this, it automatically ups updates, but I found a lot of uh a lot of a lot of complications when I did that. Basically what you have to do is add a mouse listener or a file, a file table listener and it, there were there were a lot of complications and the code just got really complicated because I had to do a lot of uh, exception handling and stuff like that that so we're going to avoid that by just using these buttons over here that's exactly why I created them because in my previous GUI and let me show you now what my previous GUI looked like this was my previous GUI and um, it was just very complicated in that see it, it it updates automatically even without the open or browse but open button over here it updates this thing this table over here updates whenever you click something here and it just got really complicated because well anyways I'm not gonna talk about that here it's kinda pointless since we're not gonna go over it that's why we have these open buttons over here all right so first thing prompt the user to enter the file name to open and we're gonna do all of this before our screen is visible again we do all of this before our screen is visible because we don't want the user to see our application before everything has been loaded up okay enter uh, the user file name set so what we're going to do here is just open up a J op, J uh, J dialog from the yeah you know, we're going to use a dialog to extract the file name that uh, or no, no no not enter the file name rather choose prompt the user to uh, choose the file. To open and the file and we're gonna use a J file chooser here too the file has to end with dot ser that for this one is the, va the valid file type that's the filter so let me, just, let me just pause the video here and get everything set up All right, so I created a new class. I created a new view class. I called it load screen. And this is going to be the, the screen that our user sees first, even before our main application. So basically, all I did is uh, have this load screen extend the J frame, created a uh, J panel, a J label, and three J buttons. Again, the same procedure. I uh, inside this load screen I just passed in the title of the frame I in initialized the widgets same procedure as before JL message blah 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 pretty sure you guys know how to do this by now um, added added these widgets I added them to the panel not the frame I added it added all these widgets to the panel that I created that we created and then I set the panel background to the same color as our previous as the rest of our application and then I just set the content fame, frame uh, content pane of the frame that we're using the content pane of this frame to the panel and again I created this add action listener method that, that will add that will uh, take in an action listener and then just add the action listener to our uh, to our button objects. So if I run our application.